I line up my teddies. Mm, that is so cool. That was tidy. Yep. Today, I was tidy. It made me feel helpful. The end. So, tomorrow, we're gonna start again for this book. So, we can practice also how to be clean our room and to look more tidy. So, guys, I bought this from a dollar store and it's on sale. So, my son is six years old and since he was six years old, I'm trying to, to teach him little by little to clean up some his his toys. Actually, guys, uh, after he is very awesome doing that because after he's done uh, after he's done playing, honestly, he put all the all his toys in the in the hamper and i'm proud of my son really you're doing great ethan good job so tomorrow ethan we're gonna start again another day or do you want more another books to read or you feel so tired now more books do you want to read more books do you want to read more books, Ethan? Okay. I will try to, to read one more book for you, okay? Actually, guys, my son, he is so uh, very interested to learn about. That's why I have uh, in the wall a uh, geographic world map it's because guys he i saw him that he is so so interested to learn about the globe about the about the mouse the seven continents actually guys he actually guys he really knows it so that's why uh we decided to give him this one uh i just only uh introduced this to him because guys he really loves this uh so sometimes uh sometimes every bad time i i read it with the globe actually guys the globe is behind the my phone right now so that's why i cannot get it so ethan i will try to read to you one page or whatever you can listen <laughs> okay i'm gonna try to look another uh another uh, uh a page that is much easier to explain or sometimes guys uh, I just read it and he's really very good in listening just read it guys and you know kids are very easily to to adapt what you are saying so Ethan so guys I'm gonna show this to him because guys he really loves this Ethan look at this what are those Yes. Yeah, these these are this. Can me Yep, Ethan. Okay, Ethan. I'm gonna try to read to you or uh read some stories about the globe. Finding your way around the globe is like a street map. Suppose you want to meet a friend on the corner of a third avenue and main street. To find the intersection on a map, you might follow third avenue until it meets main street. On the globe, third avenue until it meet Ah, oh, sorry. On a on the globe, there are no streets or avenue 
to guide to guide you particular spot. Instead, you can use the grid formed by lines of latitudes and lines of longitude. By following lines, they can find place on earth. There you go, Ethan. So, so guys, sometimes I'm trying to, I'm trying hard to explain it in a simple way so he can literally understand because he is only six years old. Kaya, hindi ko papahirapan. Kasi even me, you know guys, I'm still learning because I, we, we've studied, we've studied this, uh, start, I, I guess, elementary, right? There you go, guys. You, <laughs> you found another globe. <laughs> okay. Guys, I think I, 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 I choose a wrong book because I told you, right? He's so excited about the globe. So that's why he, he played again. So I think I, I think I'm gonna replace another book because he's getting more more alive. Imagine guys when I read the other book, you see you see that he's yawning now. I think I, I, I'm gonna find a, another book. Ethan, I'm gonna try to find another one for you to read. Hmm. Ah, you know this. Guys, he's so now busy to his globe. Ethan, can I borrow your globe? Thank you. Thank you. You're so nice, Anak. Thanks, Ted. Thank you so much. You're so you're so nice, Anak. You're very easy to ano to follow and listen. Okay. What is this? What do you say? Call you say. What do you say? <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna try to read this. Uh what do you say by monthly by Mandy Stanley? What call it? Ethan, can you try to read? Don't. I know you can read. What call it? What? Do you say? Guys, you know, he's only six years old, but I'm really proud that he really know how to read. Again, I can't hear. I can't hear. Can you can you make it louder so I can hear? So, can you read this, please? What do you say to a bee? I hear you that you read you you can read it. Okay, I'm not gonna push you more because I know that you can read. So, what do you say to a bee? Are you tired now? <laughs> what what do you what do you say to a bee? Boss. What do you say to a dog? What do you say to a sheep? What do you say to a duck? Guys, he's getting tired now, but I know that this one, this kind of book, he really knows this a lot. What do you say to a duck? Quack, quack. What do you say to a cat? Meow. What do you say to a mouse? What do you say to a donkey? Hee-haw. What do you say to a snake? He's. What do you say to a cow? Moo. What do you say to a pig? Oink, oink. Guys, it's getting tired now. 
What do you say to a lion? Roar. And what do you say to a little fish? Ick. Look. The end. Good night, anak. Let's pray. Let's pray now. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.